some fan questions for you. I mean, I got tons and tons, but I kind of, like, shrunk them into, like, a small list. Oh, okay. Some of them were a little ridiculous, but don't worry. I, I kept it, I kept it <laughs> PG for you. <laughs> All right, so one of them is, what inspires you so much from Lady Gaga? Well, you know, I, I, I've said in the past, you know, Britney Spears did a good job of showing me what I wanted to do at a very young age. I, you know, at the time I was in musical theater and I didn't really know, you know, as, as a performer where I fit in in the world and what I wanted to do. And, you know, kind of seeing what she was doing, like the Backstreet Boys and Instinct and whatnot, that gave me a very clear definition of, oh, I want to do pop music. And Lady Gaga came along at a time in my life where, you know, things were kind of looking impossible and the kind of music that I wanted to do wasn't anywhere to be found. And so to see her be a completely self-made pop artist who's taken over the world, writing and, you know, co-producing all of her own music and being in control of her own vision and artistry, that, she was kind of the proving point that I could do that. She broke open the doors and showed me that, you know, hey, it's, it's possible to do this, you know, because that's, that's what I've always wanted to do, is make music that you can think and dance to at the same time. You know, a pop music as an art form should evoke thought, you know, beyond just making you want to move. And that's always kind of been my mantra, my mission, and what I've wanted to do. And to see her already doing that, and be the biggest thing in the world because of it, you know, only opens doors for me and helps me. So that's why she's like, Yeah, I mean, I totally feel the same way. She's great. And, uh, okay, next one. What would your be your dream collaboration? Um, I, definitely Max Martin. He's like the equivalent of my Paul McCartney or John Lennon to me. His music has affected me so much, you know, in my life. You know, there are other people too, like The Knife and Royksop and Justice and Chromeo that I, you know, all, all these electronic acts that I really would like to make a very commercial pop record with and, you know, collaborate with in the studio. And so there's lots of people like that. As, as far as artists, really love to produce a Britney record. I love to write and produce something for her and get in the studio. It just makes it really hot. Um, you know, and, and of course, you know, like Lady Gaga and stuff, you know, the, all, the, all the great pop greats right now are people who I would definitely love to work Yeah. All right, well, that's great. I know the next question that leads me right to the other ones. Would you ever do a Britney Spears cover, and what song would it be? Um, I, I'd probably do something, I'd probably do something live. I'd love to do a duet with her. Um, I would probably, but if I were actually just to do a cover, I'd probably take a probably like a really crazy take on like maybe slave for you if i was to, if i was going to choose something that was you know one of her more you know well-known songs if not i'd probably go for some of her more obscure stuff you know maybe like what you see is what you get or hmm i don't know that's a t- what it, what it's like to be me is a good one from the britney album you know i, I there, there's some there's some songs in there that i that i could definitely love to do like cool darker versions of yeah for sure what's your what's your favorite song off this album do you have a favorite off of Ape at heart yeah um I, they're all my babies like i poured my soul into the whole thing and you know the whole thing is such a concept and such you know it, it starts at point a ends at point b and everything in between is, is something that i wanted to say and, and it came out each song came out perfectly the way i wanted to say it um, I'm especially proud of Beat Drop. I love how that song, I mean, I just love how that song turned out. You know, that was one of the really more experimental parts of the album, working on it, you know, trying to get a Mozart sample of an opera that I love to work to a pop track. And I love the fact that it's so short. I love that it, you know, it's perfectly concise. And I love the fact that there's a lot of symbolism within the lyrics. So I, maybe Beat Drop, I would say. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. And I mean, uh, I think not a lot of people have caught on, but like after listening to the album quite a few times, I think there's a lot of like maybe hidden messages in, in some of the songs, more like towards the end of the album. Uh-huh. And I don't think a lot of people have caught on it, but uh, I think if like one, a couple listens, you kind of like listen to it some more, and it's like you kind of like. You, 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 I don't know if you want to talk more in, about it, but. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's cool. There is there is a lot of hidden mess. There are a lot of hidden messages in the album, especially at the end, like you said. You know, and I have talked about it in a couple of interviews now, how people haven't picked up on it. You know, there's certain symbols in the record 
um, you know, like Diablo's position, like numerically in the track listing, everything was very carefully planned out. I mean, even if you look at the time, the lengths, like the, the times on each of the songs in iTunes, they all end with a zero or a five. You know, there's, I mean, there's certain things that were just very meticulously worked over on this album, and you know, I, I'm I'm excited for people to start diving into it, especially the lyrics of the last two songs. There's a lot in there, and like even even so much as Daisy being, you know, a sample in the last song, the dark. It's all very indicative of other things, and I'm, I'm excited for people to kind of delve into it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely oh. after I I heard I listened to one of your interviews, I kind of went back and listened to the album, and I was like, okay, I think I totally see what he's talking about here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's great. Like, I mean, I think that speaks as for you as an artist, that you're not just someone, you know, like, well, oh, I'm gonna write a song about love, I'm gonna write a song about this, or blah, 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 you know? It's a lot more, yeah. and I think that's that's great. Yeah, that's not what I do, and that's not what I want to do, and I don't think people would care as much if I released an album of just generic pop songs. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I think the reaction is kind of telling of, you know, how hungry people are for pop music that represents something else beyond just let's go get drunk in a club or let's, you know, go have sex or let's, you know, I love you. I mean, there, there's so many tired things in pop music in general and, you know, just trying to bring something else to it and, you know, take it, approach it from a different perspective and a fresh perspective. Yeah, for sure. It's great. And I know that you're done with this one. You're work, you're working hard as hell to get it out there and do more with it. And, um, well, people are already asking, oh, what does he want to do next? Like, do you have plans for your next album? Like, <laughs> um, well, you know, right now I'm working so hard on this one. It's only been out for three weeks now, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use this one to get my record deal. So, yeah. you know, that, I'm, I'm working really hard on that right now. Um, but I'll be back to the drawing board later this summer with, with new stuff for sure, because I can't, I can't sit on it for long. Yeah, I mean, take your time. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, they want more already? Damn. <laughs> but I just wanted to thank you so much for talking to me today. Like, I mean, I'm so happy for your success, and I want, like, as much as possible to happen. I know you're going to work as hard as you can, and you already are. So, I mean, I wish you the best of luck, and I can't wait to see oh. what else you have. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, John. Truly, no. thank you. And I love your blog, so thank you for thank you for having me. No problem. All right, well, see you later. All right, bye. Take care.